with this Crystal Welton with a really very daring experiment of the Crystal Welton in 1995. Nobody knew what would happen with the Crystal Welton. <laughs> Due to the risk running courage of the Swarovski family, established some sort of laboratory of interpretation of crystal. I, I don't see the whole thing as a challenge here. Yeah. For me, it's a, a playground, and some talented people are trying to have joy. We fool around. And obviously the result is fascinating for millions and millions of people. Swarovski Kristallwelten is a perfect expression of the Swarovski brand. For the first time we managed to, to integrate all the different veins of, of our branding model where crystallized cosmos, Swarovski, Crystal Palace uh, and other activities are coming together in, 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 in one concept for the first time. The public internal space of this company. So it's laboratory of Swarovski that's not uh, secluded to the public but it's accessible. It's an accessible laboratory and reflects the dynamism of a company. That's what I feel. I also admire the 55 million crystals room from Brian Eno because again, it, it approaches crystal uh, um, intangible, so you don't really see physically crystal but you feel the quality of multi-layers and eternity, which I think is a spectacular expression of crystal and creativity. The image on each screen is formed by the permutation of four sub-images, if you, if you like, which are overlaid on, to on top of one another. Everything is almost still, but everything is always changing. And it never changes in a predictable way. It's like looking at a painting, but a painting which is completely alive and is constantly changing. Another beautiful expression of the context friendliness of crystals is the reflections room, where you see millions of possible stories projected on, on stalactites, on crystal stalactites. I think this is a beautiful expression as well of Swarovski and of the brand. Gem is a joy to work with. It's one of the few models who I would happily work with forever. <laughs> picture of the giant was something that I had to, was, they asked me to work with and we just had to produce something that would link together all the elements of the three graces and of the model gem award and of the, of the Christopher Elton giant. I think what's special to me about Swarovski is the fact that they're so in touch with their heritage so it's about keeping in line with what was in the past and then also trying to create something very new and very modern and very groundbreaking. And, then, and that's what makes something historic. This interpretation with this specific content, with the giant, with the caves, that you sort of get to it through a narrow, dark sort of entrance and then in the end you are in some way, uh, you are rescued in light, I would say. That is very much linked to this alpine. The concept came from the, 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 the starting point of the crystal, which, which starts as carbon, and we wanted to take the carbon crystal on a journey from night to day when the, the, the carbon 
is, is born out of the ground and it comes to life under the Austrian sky and then it, it moves into dawn where it becomes kimberlite and then it moves into the Austrian uh, daytime landscape where it becomes the pure crystal. One of, one of the most challenging uh, aspects of the project was actually customer flow yes. and actually the amount of, because it's such a popular uh, destination that you actually have a number of people coming here all at one time and actually to improve that environment so actually everybody has a really good environment to shop in. I think in the future it is relevant for us to not only have artists contributing but also people from other disciplines and I think one specific idea we already integrated which is our Kristalline Werkstätte where children already create artistic expressions which might become beautiful and they will probably be you know the exhibitors of the future. <laughs>